Hi everybody, I'm Rick Beato. On today's Everything Music, we're going to talk about the loneliest scale, the forgotten scale, the harmonic major scale. Now many of you may not have heard of it or not know it, but it is actually a commonly used scale. Let's talk about the construction of the scale and talk about the modes of the scale. Okay, so the harmonic major scale, which is also called Ionian flat six, is Essentially, it's a major scale with a flat six. So one, two, three, four, five, flat six, seven. So if we're in the key of C, we have C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B. So you have that augmented second between the A flat and B. The second mode of harmonic major is Dorian flat five. So it's a Dorian scale, one, two, flat three, four, flat five, six, flat seven. So if you think of this as a Dorian scale, and you just flat the fifth. The names imply exactly what the scales are. It gives you the formula for them. Phrygian flat four. You take a Phrygian scale, uh, one flat two, flat three. Normally it's four, five, flat six, flat seven, and we flat the four here. The next one is Lydian flat three. Same thing, you have your sharp four and flat three. One, two, flat three, sharp four, five, six, seven. Fifth mode is Mixolydian flat two. One flat two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. The sixth mode is Lydian augmented sharp two, one sharp two, three sharp four, sharp five, six, seven. And the seventh mode is Locrian double flat seven. This gets kind of confusing, but you'll get it. One flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, double flat seven. Now, we have double flat sevens in things like diminished seventh chords. We also have double flat sevens in the seventh mode of the harmonic minor scale. Okay, the way that we're going to build chords in the scale is we're going to simply figure them out by going to every other note. What do we have here? One, three, five, seven. So if you're in C, you have C, E, G, B. So the one chord is a major seventh chord. Okay, so we're going to just call it this, major seven. The two chord, every other note, take the first, flat third, flat fifth, flat seven, gives you a minor seven flat five or a half diminished. We're going to erase this. So this is how our chord scale is going to work. We're going to figure out what chords are on each scale degree. So minor seven flat five. The other symbol for minor seven flat five is the half diminished, like that. A fully diminished would be a circle, half diminished is a circle with a line through it. The Phrygian flat four, take the one, flat three, five, flat seven. That is a minor seven chord, okay? So on the third scale degree, we have a minor seven chord, which is uh, makes sense because we have a Phrygian chord, minor seven. Okay, four scale degree, Lydian flat three. One, flat three, sharp four doesn't count in here. Five, major seven. Okay, well this is actually a minor major seven chord. Now, it's kind of deceptive to call it a Lydian with a flat third because minor plus seven, or I can say minor major seven. Okay, we'll talk about that after. Mixolydian flat two. We have one, three, five, flat seven, which is just a regular good old dominant seventh chord, okay? So on the five is a dominant seventh chord on the fifth scale degree, right? Dominant seven. This is how you figure out the chords in any key. You do it in the same way. The sixth mode, Lydian augmented uh, sharp two, one, three, sharp five, major seven. Okay? That is a Lydian augmented chord that lies on the sixth scale degree. Or also known as a major seven sharp five. I'm going to call it major seven sharp five. But you should know that the other name for that chord is a Lydian augmented chord. That would be. You know, if we're uh, if we have the bass is a C sharp, it would be an F major over C sharp or F major over D flat. Let's say um, 
that would give you D flat F A C. That would be an uh, D flat Lydian augmented chord. The last one is Locrian double flat seven. One flat three, flat five, double flat seven. Well, what do we know about that? That's a straight diminished seventh chord. So the seventh mode produces a diminished seventh chord. I'm going to go diminished with a zero seven like that, just so we're not confused. So here are the chords that these chord scales go with, or the modes. Okay, what do you notice here? Well, diminished seventh chord. That's another option to play on a tonic diminished chord. Normally you'll play a whole half diminished. Well, you can actually play low grand double flat seven on it. Um, this is another option to play on a major seventh chord. So if you're thinking about, ah, uh, I'm gonna, I wanna play some different modes on a major seventh chord. Well, you can play the major pentatonic, right? You could play Ionian. You can play Lydian. You can play Lydian augmented. And you can play the Ionian flat six or the harmonic major scale. Those will all work on a major seventh chord. You can get some really interesting lines if you start doing playing these scales and combining them, which is known as modal mixture. I did a whole episode on it. I'll probably do another one on it for those of you that didn't watch the first one. Go back and look at my videos and you'll see a video on modal mixture. It's very hip and it's something that you should really understand. Now, this Lydian flat three is a little bit tricky. It works over a minor major seventh chord. One, two, Flat three, four, the sharp, five, six, seven. Okay. We could call this melodic minor sharp four because that's what it is really. If you take the sharp four away, you have a straight melodic minor scale. Major scale with a flat third. This is a major scale with a flat third and a sharp four. So this could really be called melodic minor sharp four because it's played over a minor seven flat five but most people call it the lydian flat three i'm going to do this though i'm going to go and say minor major seven or minor plus seven remember that's a little shortcut for it easier it doesn't take up as much room on the chart and i'm going to say, put a little parentheses here we're going to call it melodic minor sharp four. That's our alternate name for it. Okay, let's move on and talk about all the different triads and seventh chords that are in this harmonic major scale. We're going to use C harmonic major, which would be the notes C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B. I have G sharp under here as an end harmonic, and I have C flat under here as an end harmonic because we're going to use these as chords. I also have this scale called Ionian flat six because that's another name for it. Here's all the triads found in this scale. C major, C augmented, C sus4, D diminished, D locrian, D locrian would be D, G, A flat, 1, 4, flat 5. E minor, E major, F minor, F diminished, F lydian, a lot of those in there. G major, G phrygian, G phrygian would be G, A flat, D, G sus4, A flat diminished, A flat augmented, B diminished, B Locrian. B Locrian would be B, E, F, 1, 4, flat 5. The seventh chords, there's a lot of them. C major 7, C major 7 sharp 5, or C augmented major 7. C major 7 sus 4, F diminished over C. It's a great sound. D diminished 7, D half diminished 7, or D minor 7 flat 5. D Locrian dominant. Now, what is that? That would be D Locrian dominant, D G, A flat, C. So it's a D Locrian triad, one, four, flat five, flat seven. And then we have D Locrian double flat seven, which would be D, G, A flat, B, or C flat. Next we have E minor seven, E seven, a lot on F, F diminished seven, F diminished major seven. So that would be F, A flat, C flat, E natural, great sound, F minor major seven, F Lydian major seven. F Lydian major seven would be F, B, C, E. G seven, 
G7 sus4, G Phrygian dominant. That would be G, A flat, D. That's your Phrygian with uh, the F on top. A flat diminished, 7. A flat diminished major 7. A flat augmented major 7. A flat major 7 sharp 5. Okay, that would be like a C major over A flat. A flat major 7 flat 5, just like it implies. So it would be A flat, C, D, G. B diminished 7, and B Locrian double flat 7. B Locrian would be B, E, F, so 1, 4, flat 5, and then double flat 7. Those are all your triads and 7th chords from C harmonic major. Let's take a listen to what they sound like. Let's look at all the triads in the... C harmonic major scales. We have C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, C. We have C major. We have C augmented. C suspended four. D diminished. D Logrian, which is one, four, flat five. E minor. E major, because of the enharmonic. F minor. F diminished, because of the enharmonic. F, A flat, C flat and F Lydian, G major, G Phrygian, one flat two five, G sus four, then we have G sharp diminished triad, and we have A flat augmented triad. Then we have B diminished and B Locrian. Let's look at the seventh chords. We have C major seven, C major 7 sharp 5, or C augmented major 7. C major 7 sus 4. F diminished over C, which is a really cool sound. Then you have D diminished 7. You have D minor 7 flat 5, or half diminished 7. We have a D Locrian dominant. So it's a Locrian triad with a flat 7. And then we have D Locrian double flat seven. E minor seven, E seven, F diminished seven, F diminished major seven, F minor major seven, F Lydian major seven, one sharp four, five major seven, G seven, G seven sus four, G Phrygian dominant one flat two five flat seven then you have a flat diminished seven then you have a flat diminished major seven you have a flat major seven sharp five or a flat augmented major seven and you have a flat major seven flat five one three flat five major seven and lastly we have b diminished seven, and we have B Locrian double flat seven. One, four, flat five, double flat seven. Those are all the triads and seventh chords of C harmonic major. Okay, let's listen to the parent scale, the harmonic major scale. We're doing C. C, D, E, F, G, A flat, B, C. What would a voicing in this scale sound like? Well, voicing could sound like this. It's a really beautiful voicing. Voicing could sound like this. Voicing could sound like this. This would be really great modern classical music or film scoring using these kind of voicings. Once again, we want to take advantage of the half steps between G and A flat and B and C. So I'm going to look for those kind of things in my voicings and, and I'm going to play that. So I have two flat nines. Or I could go like this. Beautiful sound. That's a harmonic major. Let's talk about the polychords you can play within the harmonic major scale. This one is a G sharp diminished over C sus4. You can 
could really play it over any of the bass notes in the scale. You get some really cool notes, or just leave it as a close position voicing like that. You can also play two spread triads locked together like this, F minor and E minor. It'd be E minor on the top, which would be this. That's an inversion. I've got G, E, B, and then... So right there is a nicely interlocked spread triad. So the harmonic major scale is just another sound you can add to your palette. You can go beyond the major scale, the melodic minor, and the harmonic minor, and you have a whole new set of modes in which you can create sounds from. Sounds that other people may not use and that you can claim as your own. So this is another area of, of exploration that you can do, having a whole nother parent scale with a series of seven modes that are derived from it. So take some time and take a look at this. This is really a great scale. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Beato book, you can find it by going to www.rickbeato.com. Thanks for watching.